Welcome back to another Colwell Conversation. It is my privilege to be here today with one of our Red Earth faculty, Dr. Andrew Talbert. Dr. Talbert, will you talk to us about what you teach at Colwell Academy? How long have you been here? Sure. I've been here for, this is my second year, um, third year to classical school, um, and I teach um, junior thesis, junior theology, uh, a biblical studies elective, and freshman history from the fall of Rome to the Renaissance. Wonderful, all right. <laughs> Why are you, as an educator, um, invested in the classical Christian model of education? Yeah, before this, I was a university professor, both in the United States and overseas, and I just found consistently um, that my students lacked skills of, of critical thinking. And so I'm having to do these crash courses and things like logic to help them make sense of their answers. You know, well, explain yourself. Why does that make sense? Those sorts of things. And uh, even more so, trying to help them integrate faith and learning to figure out what is the implications of what I believe on being a lawyer or a, uh, um, an accountant, those sorts of things. Um, and then I stumbled on classical education and thought, oh, that's what they needed, uh, and decided to instead to go back to the younger age and work with them then so they don't have to do all that makeup work when they get to university. Very good. Mm -hmm. You highlighted thinking. Critical thinking, that's actually, of course, one of the, the tools of learning that we're trying to develop and impart to our students. As a classical Christian school, the five tools are how to think well, how to read well, how to write well, how to speak well, and how to listen well. Right. So why do you think learning how to think well is a worthwhile skill? Right. Um, for any generation, but especially for these generations, myself included, I just continue to find that um, we have become more of a, a, a passionate generation. And passion is not bad. It's a good thing. Emotions are good, you know, it's good. But I, I do even talk with my kids about you're angry. There's there's a right to be angry about this thing. And so when we do um, thinking, we can make sure that for one, that emotions are in the right place, that we've thought through the appropriate responses, but also that they're asking good questions about um, working through the things of meaning. Does this matter? Do that primarily through giving them the question why uh, so that you can give them an answer why is that a good answer you um, were talking through this particular story uh, is this a good person how do you know it's a good person why do you think that makes a good person and so we wrestle through by asking those questions they begin to develop those very simple tools just asking why mm -hmm. or what mm -hmm. um, and uh, the, again for this generation even more important lost the, the striving after wisdom um, and being knowing how do you have this knowledge what do you do with it or how do you acquire the knowledge without just relying on Wikipedia or some of the things that have the knowledge for you the data for you um, and so we're working through the right ordering of emotions and thought we're working on how do we retain material and think through it and also uh, the question of with it or how we use it wisely. Mm -hmm. Those are all really important questions for this generation. Very important questions. It's making me think about uh, the process of, of growing into young adulthood and one of the important things I think um, that a classical Christian education can help provide is helping students in this way to own their intellectual and spiritual commitments. And I wonder if you have a story um, or two about um, a moment where you saw kind of that One of the first examples recently was of a student who made a synthetic or like a lateral connection. He was able to, we were talking about this idea of what sin is as, as not just individual acts, but as like as structures in which we are involved that we may not even see. And he made a connection with the literature class saying, oh, that's like, and it was a, an author that I don't even remember the name of because I hadn't read it before. And so I'd ask him, well, can you explain that to me? And he did, but he was the one who made the connection, not me or him. And so he was already at work uh, in the process of synthesizing the information and making cross lateral connect connections. Dr. Talbert, thank you for uh, being with me today to have this call conversation. And uh, I'm really thankful for your work in the classroom with our students. Um, it's a really important part for training of the next generation. 
to go out in the world and work and live and um, be in relationship with others. And that's good stuff. So thank you so much for all your efforts. I know it's meaningful. Um, the question of who are students are being taught behind um, is an important one. So thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today for Caldwell Conversation. If you'd like to learn more about Caldwell Academy, who we are, what we offer, I'd love to welcome you um, on campus for a tour. You can reach out to me via our website. I'd love to schedule something. I'd love to meet you. Thank you.